Hey everyone, this is now day 11 of 100 Days of VBA. Over the last couple of days, we've looked at some numeric and some text-based functions. Today, we're going to take our first step into date-related functions. And today, we're just going to look at the five different ways you can create a date or time value using VBA. So I've got my spreadsheet here. I've got my VBA module. And for each uh, row, B2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm just going to use a different method to create a date and time, date or time value. So let's start. So we're going to use the usual method just to grab our cell. So we're going to start in B2. And we're going to set the value of that cell. And we're going to start with the most basic method of creating a date, and that's simply date. And that will create a date based on the current time of your computer system. So I'm filming this on the 29th of April in the UK. And so the value it's given me is the 29th of April. Now, the next one is very similar. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And we're going to go down into B3. Instead of date, we're going to use now. So the difference between date and now is that as well as my date, the 24th of April, I've also got two o'clock. So as you can see, that matches what's on my laptop. So that gives you a date and time value rather than just the date. Next, we're gonna do just the time. So that is just time. I'm gonna put that down in B6. As you can see, we've got just 201 with the seconds as well in the afternoon. That is the time that I'm filming this video. So that's three really simple ways. Date, just for date. Now, for date and time. Time, for just time. But what if we have some bits of data, say a year number, a month number, and a day number, and we want to create a date using those? So then we use the date serial function. So here we go, date serial, like that. And you can see we can give the year, the month, and the day. So let's choose uh, Christmas Day this year. So 2024, 12, 25. If we run that, you can see also we're running these functions again as well. So my times are updating as we move through the video. And we create another date for the 25th of December, 2024. The last method is slightly different again. So instead of having numerical values for a year, month, and day, we have a string or a text value, and that's going to be called date value, this function. So you can see date as string. So there's a few different ways you can do this. So first, let's say um, May 12th, 2026, or 2025, next year. Oh, it hasn't liked that. So let's try taking out the TH and just say May 12th. There we go. So this is one of those things like when you're formatting a date in Excel, as I showed just there, if the format's not quite right or it doesn't recognize it, it'll throw an error. The other way of doing this is by using uh, sort of a classic notation. So let's say for today it is the 29th of the 4th, 24. And there you go, that's worked as well. So there's different formats. Remember, I'm based in the UK, so this is a UK format date. If you're in the US, then remember it will accept month and then day rather than the other way around. So those are five ways of creating date and time objects in VBA. We've got date, now, time, date serial, and date value.